Guys, welcome back to the biggest agricultural platform known as Nuna Yungombe. My name, of course, is Mitchell Mutumba Simata, aka the headman of cattle. Today, I want to speak about an Italian cattle breed which is known as the Chianina, which is known, which is also known as the largest and oldest pure breed, uh, pure breed cattle breed in the world. So, let we guys know without wasting any time, as you guys know, I'm always rolling with my favorite notebook here uh, with my various information on it. So, let's get into the video of the Chianina. 50 years ago, the Kianina cattle were a common sight in rural landscape of Tuscany. It's, it's, it is known to be, the biggest cattle breed, to be the biggest cattle breed in the world and amongst the oldest, if not the oldest of all pure breed cattle. The Kianina dates back to the Roman Empire. 2,000 years ago, they were raised mainly for draft and sacrificial purpose. Later, during the Middle Ages, no rural peasant would have accommodated an animal that could not work that could not work well and work well. And cows and cows and bull and bullocks alike were harnessed as draft animals. So this is an animal that was used for probably agricultural work such as plowing and pulling and pulling uh, wagons. Beasts who did not perform well were slaughtered. This practice did an early form of selective breeding left the Kianina with great genetic stability and uniformity. Breeding was generally towards large strong animals and large strong animals. The genetic limbs has expressed itself in cattle with heavy muscle, long leg, hard hard hooves and movement and good movement, endurance and a calm deposition. And a calm deposition. Later, the Kianina was developed as a dual purpose, as, as a dual purpose for draft and meat purposes. As machines began to replace cattle, began to replace cattle, the shift was towards improving the meat quality of the Kianina. In second cr criteria such as the length, the length of the body, milk yieldage, and growth rate were introduced. Taking the Kianina taking on the world, the Kianina was was literally known outside Italy until the late 1960 when semen was exported to Canada. The US imported Canadian semen and in the early 1970s shipped in a load of pure bulls. Australia too formed the nucleus of its Kenina herd by importing Kenina semen from Canada. Kenina ex Angus or Holstein cattle calves were seared which was seared and born in, in California in California on the 31st of January 1972. An Angus cow that weighs about 450 well, cal would cal uh, calve the Kianina calf with ease than what was expected because of the long, because of the long light built and the vitality of the newborn calves. So the people thought it probably because of the size it will give calving problems, but it didn't do that, you know, so... It gave the, the Angus, uh, Angus cow with a weight of about 450, gave birth to a Kenina calf without a problem. Kenina calves grow rapidly and win at nearly the weight of their dams, which means they win, they win at, the, at the weight almost equal to the weight of their mothers. The efficiency of red meat production went off the, went off the graft and the race for growth and lean beef was on. The strength, strength in selection. With a strong Angus influence, the American Kianina is predominantly black. So the American one is predominantly... Americans tend to love black animals, but I think it has to do with the weather in some parts of the United States. The Kianina breeders of today breed the best Kianina to the best. But despite the strict selection and culling processes, inferior cows are still mated to Kianina influenced bulls in the United States. Breeders warn against the dilution of Kianina genetics and, the stre and stress the value of retaining a balance between its unique vigor, growth, and extra carcass value genetics. In Italy, purebred Kianina cattle are found in the districts of, in the rural regions of Siena, Leghorn, Leghorn Pisa, Pisa, so not Pisa, Pisa, Florence, and Pellegria. The breed also occurs pure and crossbred in other parts of Italy. 
in other European countries, in Ireland, Canada, the USA, Australia, and now in Southern Africa. Purebred or crossed, the economic, the economic merit of the, of the evident of the key, I mean, economic merit of the Kianina is evident. Tip, uh, type and conformation. The Kianina is, is large but highly functional animal. It has a, it has a cylinder, it has a, it has a cylinder look, trunk, cylinder looking trunk with a wide, with a wide, with wide thick back loins and wide horizontal rump. And long in a long convex thighs and buttocks. The shoulder, the shoulders, back and hindquarters are well muscled. The skeleton resembles that of an earland and is light and strong. The legs are longer than most breeds, and in proportion to the leg to the leg length, the body does not appear as long as the length. Sorry, the body does not appear as long as that of some breeds with short with shorter legs. It has a fine head and despite its size, despite its size, are trim and slender. So they're tall cattle, but not the heavy, big, fat animals. They're very slender and trim. I've, yeah, they do look very slender and trim. They look almost like a basketball player, let me put it that way. These characteristics, along with a strong, strict Back, along with a strong streak backline, give the Kianina its distinctive appearance. Height of bulls could be about 200 centimeters. Cows could weigh about 800 kilograms to about 900. The heaviest they could weigh is 1,000 kilograms. The, the skin pigment. The animals have a dark skin pigment, ivory color hair, tail switch, the hair at the tail, tongue, eyelid, Eyelid surround, uh, eye surround and membrane. Muzzle, hooves, shelf and scrotum are black. Bulls are often a darker, uh, often a darker gray, uh, often dark gray around the shoulder, neck, and head, and a show of pronounced crest. Calves are born. Uh, calves are born with a reddish, a reddish in color, but assume the typical white color as assume the typical white color at three to four months. Horns are short and horns are short and some of the cattle are naturally pulled. So they do grow horns or they don't grow horns. So this it depends on how you, how how you look at this animal. So they say growth. Average gain of this animal could exceed two kilograms. This is the average gain. Slaughter weight is from about six hundred and fifty to nine hundred nine hundred and fifty at sixteen to eighteen months. That's the slaughter weight you can get. A bull, a bull weighed a staggering 725.8 kilograms at a year old. That's the weights these animals can achieve. Kianina excementale bulls average daily gain is of, is of 240, 243 kilograms. Feed conversion ratio at, at about 33.8 at about 33.88 percent in the test in when it was tested the kianina typical slaughters on typical slaughters at 63 percent and 65 percent of live weight it produces lean red meat the highest marbling score in the u.s grading system providing the highest percentage of prime meat limousine and kianina beef is far leaner even though they're big breeds, they're very lean beef. So don't get it twisted. They don't have a lot of fat. It's very lean. Kianina beef is 40% more expensive than that of other continental breeds. The lowest cholesterol and highest protein content of any European red meat. Cross-breeding system. The Kianina can contribute growth rate, muscle, high quality, lean beef, and heat tolerant to prodigies, to prodigies who are tested for performance. It is an efficient, it is an efficient forager that moves easily over a variety of terrains. The short, smooth coat gives it better disease and insect, to insect tolerant than many other breeds, an advantage in tropical, uh, in tropical countries. 
The Canina cows have smaller udders and are not noted for their milk production. For the first 120 days after calving, cows can give about 12 liters a day. Higher producers can, can milk about 20 liters a day. Using Kianina seers on cows of Afrikaner, Brahman, Drakensberg, Tuli or Boran should produce a superior wiener and steer for rounding off on grass. So that's the Italian Kianina animal. An animal that, an animal that was firstly that was recorded even in the Roman Empire, so meaning it's quite old, and also it was predominantly used to do hard labor and then from then was used for sexual, sacrificial purposes. After that, it took a different role of being a work animal. And then from then on with machinery replacing trucks, tractors and so forth being developed, they had to move away from that and they started focusing on improving its meat quality. It's a big, it's a heavy animal. It's a heavyweight, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a heavyweight. It can weigh about 1,000. This is a bull, 1,150. So about 1,280, that's a bull's weight, you know, and uh, it can stand, it's, uh, the measurements they're giving, it can stand at about 160 to 175 centimeters. So it's an Italian breed. I believe they could probably be lighter than this, probably 900 round about there, but that's the weight they get. It's an Italian breed, a very tall Italian breed. So those are my two cents on the uh, Kianina breed of cattle. With that said, guys, have yourself a good night. Bye for now.